hello everyone uh, so in this video i am doing something different and making a lizard and um, i want to show you something i have got this uh, color uv resin from j -Diction. so i'll be using this one and um, i'm going for green yellow two colors but it comes with the tip so you can replace you take the take this off and replace with the tip so it'll be easy to access so eight colors you get like i have got this yellow green uh, black you can get white lavender red and um, blue and um, purple so i have chosen here um green and yellow so let's get started and i have got this um jellyxian um, uv resin lamp as well putting wrong with that <laughs> so let me just plug that in and that's plugged in I'm not starting yet because I want to do this one first. So put your clothes on. I'm not putting right now because sometimes I do struggle. But I'm not touching as you can see. And I'm just going the long line. You can start with the dots as well. I'm just doing the long line. And I do one by one so I don't need to worry about getting um, mixed up together so so then I'm going to use once that's done I'll use the clear resin on top and then will be the next layer because I want it to pop out you can straight away go for the black one if you want to, but I'll use the black one on, um, in my second layer. I'm just going to stop it now because it probably done on top and then go one line. Just doing like a random line. You can do the thin line as well. So this one, like, I am going for the thin one. Should have gone for thin one to last as well, but never mind. And the reason why I'm doing one by one is because I don't want them mixed together. So if you cure at a time, you don't need to cure it. Just to, you just need to get a little bit dry on the top and then put it um, and do your next one. And then you can cure together so that probably dry a little bit now I'm going for green again and I'll do this one a little bit longer as well it has got the gap now and I'll do this one as well it's a green one yeah don't want to mix them up mm. 
Okay, I'm just going to make a little bit thicker line so I'll go back again and just go on top of it and just further. Okay, so right now I am for this one. I am going for multicolor, so I leave the green and yellow now and use a different color. Two colors I'm going to go for. So let me go for red. I think red will pop out nicely in the blur and blue, red and blue. I haven't opened this, so uh, I'm just going to open. So I'll do the same, do one by one. one I'm going for this one mm -hmm. which is blue and just need to try Then green and uh, blue again. So I have got these two eyes to put in as well. 
so uh, they are a tiny bit bigger the size is i think it's um six yeah six uh, mm so maybe the little bit smaller will i got actually for the frogs but just want to try on this as well so i got eyes here and here I have to make sure it goes on the right place so i've got the eyes what i do i am going to put a little bit of resin so um uv resin to stick the eyes so it just goes actually let me just put it in here But never mind so then just using this brush and get a little bit of resin and put right on it where the eye is and then back. now you have to make sure which way you want to go for oops done drop <laughs> god so about that and i'm just going like this So they are upside and they are on a straight like kind of the straight line so I'm going to go for like the straight line on this as well so just making sure oh I forgot to put the UV rays in there and then just up and just stick it there and now that is straight and that is a little bit monkey side so do one by one let me get this out first and let me just finish off this because they move so you have to make sure they are stick properly oh, I'm going to turn it off now and see try to put which is right here And Want to move a little bit around. So I've got this one, uh, maybe this way. Yeah, it might be not, sorry, I need to, it may be not, not the way I wanted the position of eye, but I think that should be alright now. 
okay so yeah i'm going to mix my resin now and let it dry and mix my resin so this is done and um, as you can see and my resin is mixed so i am just going to add and i'm using the addiction resin what i'm going to do i'm going to fill all the way up till i um it gets covered the uv resin and then do the last um layer of um, um probably go for the black one yeah so yeah that's it and the legs will be the same color as well the black one so this one is got covered now i'm going to leave it dry and we do the next step tomorrow so this is the next day as you can see it has dry that color pops out really nice and now i am just doing my last um back layer which i have mixed um black resin black pigment paste mix mix it and i will pour it now just before i do it let me just uh, spray the isopropyl alcohol so i don't need to worry about any bubbles at the bottom and then just go over it The legs are very tiny. Just making sure I have got enough resin there. It's all flowing here, but it doesn't really matter. I can scrape more. Okay, so now I'll uh, let it dry and redeem all of it tomorrow and see how it looks. So the next day we are demolding it and see how this one has turned out. It is a bit difficult on uh, legs, so just be careful when you demold. quite tiny that's why oops I'm going to start from the tail because they are already loosen up Okay, ready? Ta da! So, as you can see, how beautiful it looks. That I am not quite impressed with this, but this one looks so beautiful. I'll show you under uh, the natural light because I'm in a basement, so you won't be able to see properly. But, um, 
overall the ice has gone properly as well to one just a slightly move but it's all right well it is on a place but the it is a bit wonky <laughs> but that's okay and this is how it looks but i'll show you the uh, exact look how it looks under the uh, natural light so thank you guys for watching and i will come up with my next video